No, I'm not Spider-Man, but I did subscribe to the Sparkman channel last night. You should do it too. Subscribe. And like the video. Hello there and welcome to another video, my name is Sparkman and today we're doing a Pokemon Go health bars. Now this is nothing fancy, so let me show you the demo. So I'm going to uh, press spacebar to uh, do some damage to this guy here. See that that works not too bad, I'm going to do it again. Alright, so let's open the example file, which you are going to find under the description below. If you don't know what software I'm using for making games, there is a link down below where you can download the free version. There is also a link to the paid version, which allows you to create commercial game games you can sell. Okay, so let's go over the assets. You can see that this is just a picture, and uh, these are just counters. Under the uh, properties, I have set those as horizontal health bars, from left to right. These are the settings I'm using, initial value 100. And the red bar is identical. I'm gonna lock the layer one so I don't move the picture. So let's go to the event editor. Now for this example, I'm going to use a spacebar. Okay, so new condition, mouse and keyboard. Upon pressing a spacebar, we subtract 25 from this counter. Right out, press spacebar. Now notice that I have two counters here. I'm gonna bring them into the screen. Now we're gonna add 25 to the black counter. Five, right out. That works fine. Now, if the black counter is different than zero, then we subtract one from the black counter. Right out. Press space bar. That works fine. Let's uh, subtract one from the red counter. Right out. Press space bar. That works fine, but that works a little too fast. Let's reduce this red counter slower. Insert every four milliseconds right out for space bar that works fine but we want a small delay here okay now here's the other counter i labeled this uh delay know that insert counter needs to be greater than 50 right out and you notice that that doesn't work anymore and the reason is because this counter is zero so it needs to be greater than 50. So when we press space bar, we want to add one to the uh, pink counter. And if the pink counter is greater than zero, then we keep adding one to it. Right out, space bar. You see that there is a delay. Now when the black counter goes to zero, only one action when this happens. Then we set the pink counter back to zero. Right out. Press space bar again. That works fine, except for this counter is supposed to blink. New condition. If this counter is greater than zero. Insert. Every four milliseconds. Under the green counter. Effects. Set RGB coefficient. I'm gonna type uh, get RGB. Bracket bracket. And we're gonna go zero, zero, zero. Comma, comma. And that is for red, green, and blue. So the first one is red, the second one is green, which means that we are going to set this uh, randomly. Random range. Now this goes from 0 to 255. So let's make this uh, 200 to 250. Right out. First space bar. You can see that our counter blinks. Let's do the same thing for the red counter. Just drag the action under the red counter. Edit. Delete this here, set that to zero. And this is a red, green, and blue, okay? Which means that the first zero is the red. Set that to random range, to 255. Right out, press a uh, space bar. And you can see that both bars blink. All right. Okay, so let's try this with a gray background. That works fine. Press space bar again. And that works fine. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, make sure you give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to check out my other channel, The Sparkman Vlog. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next episode.